Ron Hellstern sees his yard as a habitat to be shared with birds, bees, and animals that track through here. So we've been putting in a variety of plants, uh, fruit trees and shrubs and things, raspberries, grapes, uh, and the idea is we want some of that and the wildlife gets some of it too. His yard in Nibley is certified by the National Wildlife Federation as a wildlife habitat, which requires he provide food, water, shelter, and a place for wildlife to raise young. When we moved in here first, we didn't see a lot of wildlife, and now we've been marking off, we've had 66 different species of birds that we've seen off our backyard. He's convinced many of his neighbors to add water features and plants to attract all types of bugs and animals. The idea is to get the entire town designated as a wildlife habitat, which would only take 15 more people. Each of the homeowners that are taking part have their own ideas of how to create open space for wildlife. This guy has some grass and some open space. Well, we found we were doing a lot of the things anyway. It's a natural thing, and so all this helped us to be more aware of what we could do to do a better job of that. But you don't have to live in Nibley. Hellstern says anyone can turn their yard into a refuge. Ashton Goodell, Fox 13 News, Utah.